Let's do that again. You know what that means? Gerald is back. And it's seven o'clock on Mystery Card Monday on Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara. It's Gerald, the Screaming Goat. Hello. Happy Monday. Happy long holiday weekend Monday. Let me know who is playing tonight or even if you're not playing, if you're just hanging out, checking out what I'm up to. Give me a hidey ho. I'll wait. I'm assuming I'm on the right page. There we are. We're back. Hey, hey. I know, right? Poor Gerald. Let's hear it again for Gerald. I've missed my little buddy. <laughs> he was like my seven o'clock alarm clock, right? Hi, Melanie. Bev, what have you? It's not a holiday in the U.S., is it, today? It's a holiday here in Canada. So naturally, I worked an extra day because that's what I do. <laughs> what? What, Nancy? I know. Gerald is back. I know. It's exciting, isn't it? Watch him from Ontario. Oh, we got all the people talking now. Okay. Hi, Sandra Marshall watching from, I'm assuming that's Ontario, not Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love typing, right? Yes. Nancy, how are you? Hi, Donna. Teresa and Barb from Winnipeg. Hi, Gail. I know. Oh, Nancy, you don't know what day it is. You don't even know which way is up right now, right? You teachers and teachers' aides, you don't know what day of the week it is, and it doesn't matter. You're on holidays. Ah, uh, not today. Hey, Bev. Yeah. Hey, Liz. Hi, Kim. Not a holiday for you? No, not for me either. Heather, yes, it's been forever. <laughs> Hi, Catherine. Kathy Miller, hey, hey, Liz, Paulette, all the regular suspects are in. Ah, I know, and you know what? That's the way it should be, Nancy. Who, who gives a rat's butt what day it is, right? Unless you have appointments, that sort of thing. Hey, Bernice, how's the weather out in, uh, no, I want to say Kelowna, Penticna, where are you now? You're in Kelowna, Pentic. no, there are fires out there. Where are you right now, Bernice? I want to say Penticton, but that's not right. Are you in Kelowna now? I forget. You forgot there was a holiday, Teresa. Well, let me tell you, all I have to do is try to go to a, you know, um, a post office or anything like that, and you'll figure out pretty quick that it's a holiday. Yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh, I know it was a holiday. Why? No, both my kids were working today, uh, but Craig's on vacation. Yeah, Christine McKay's in Winnipeg. Connie, hello! Everybody, everybody's in the hood. Penticton. Oh, fire's at Apex. Okay. I don't know where Apex is, but I thought it was close to Penticton. Am I wrong? I suppose there's fires all over the province, right? Oh, I don't like this season for that. God, how terrifying. Just terrifying. Hot. Yeah, we're supposed to. Hi, Mary. It's supposed to be uh, thunderstorms today, but it hasn't happened yet. So I don't know. They pro I was promised 10 millimeters of rain every day this week. And I was very excited. Very excited I was. And they let me down. Not happy. That's okay. I'm a little happy. Hey, Nikki, that's okay. I'm still doing my rambling. You know, there's one near Kiramos. Oh, okay. I don't know where Kiramos is either. Bit of a geographic moron me. Yeah. Hey, let's talk about my ring for a minute, shall we? <laughs> I, okay, you guys. So I went to Klondike Days, K-Days on Friday. And I was so, so, okay, fires. If you go towards Vancouver from pension. Okay. Um, You know my ring that I wear, right? So when I got, I got a ring that looks almost identical to this when I was in California. And I kind of fell in love with it. It was behind glass. Um, and I thought, oh, that's really expensive. But that's okay. I'll, I'll treat myself because um, I had just earned the, the, the next incentive trip. And it was my birthday. And it was a holiday. And I thought, I'm going to treat myself. And so before I looked at the price tag, I thought, oh, now how much would I pay for that ring? Like it's behind glass at the hotel. So I thought, okay, it's going to be so expensive. I thought, well, I would pay... Mm, up to like $150 for this ring. And then so I asked to see it and I tried it on. I'm like, okay, well, yeah, it's nice. And, and how much is it? And she's like, $35. I'm like, $35. And I'm like, well, that's now is, does that make it mean it ta it's tacky and I hate it because it's only $35. But a minute ago, I was going to pay $150 for it. Anyway, I bought it and I've been wearing it. But yes, within days, it started to tarnish, right? It was turning that really horrible brassy color. But I didn't really mind because it really didn't show 
because of such because the rhinestones are are so big, you really couldn't tell. And I liked it anyway. I thought, you know what? I like it. Hey, Sheila, I like it. Hey, Crystal's from Australia. Hello. Ah, Tracy's there. Mm. Um. Anyway, it's kind of funny how the price tag. I'm like, well, if it's only thirty five dollars, is it really tacky and gaudy and horrible and garish and whatever else? And I thought, I don't care. I'll buy it for thirty five dollars. I want to have it. And then, so I've been wearing it, and I love it. And when I don't wear it, I miss it. Well, I went to Klondike Days. And thank you, Barbara McLeod. And they had um, Fifth Avenue Jewelers or Jewelry, Fifth, a Fifth Avenue Jewels, whatever, Fifth Avenue, something or other. I, these are the earrings that I've, these are Fifth Avenue. And I've been wearing these for 10, 15 years, like every single day of my life. I love these earrings. I have to have them redone because they too are tarnishing only because I've, they've been against my skin for like 10, 15 years. Anyway, I went up to their booth at K-Days and uh, lo and behold, so I got a real one. It's rhodium, uh, rhodium, ro rhodium. It's plated with something that's not going to turn green. And I was so freaking excited. So I've got, and now I have two rings. I have a backup in case like the jewels, um, they're not the exact same color code, but they're the same size and everything else. So I'm keeping the other one in case I lose one of these rhinestones <laughs> that I can dismantle the other one and like slap it in there. Anyway. <laughs> that's my story how was your weekend look at everything's upside down that was my weekend so friday i went to klondike days saturday i worked all okay remember i said that i was taking the better part of three days off i lie i lie like a carpet my idea of a good time is working and because working doesn't work for me right it's play but i didn't work down here i was at my desk and i did paperwork i did all of my august birthday cards i did my team recognition cards i did all kinds of cards to all kinds of people i just mailed cards all over the place um, a full, full day of paperwork, catching up on orders, logging things, scheduling things. I loved it. Hi, Marcella. And, um, so that was all day Saturday. I thought we were going to watch a movie, but then Craig wasn't feeling very good. So that's okay. I did, I did my nails. And then Sunday, um, my mom took my girls to Jubilations, which is like dinner theater. And so I went over to hang out with my dad. And so for six hours, I watched shark attack shows. <laughs> And after like, if you, if you ever, ever watched like National Geographic or any, or any of these history channels, after about two, after about three hours, the shows just repeat. Yeah. So I was watching, see my dad's memory is not what it used to be. And so I was like, oh, I'm watching the same show. And it was all new to him. So I did that all last night. It was a good time. And today I've just, I don't know, it's been, I've been working nonstop but it's been really relaxed. I, I it's crazy. It's it's crazy, crazy, crazy. I know I love Shark Week too. It's creepy, but I love it. Um, yeah. Oh, you got the call for my MRI. Oh, okay, Sheila. When's that? All right. What have I missed here? Lightning struck. Oh, yikes. Holy cow. Okay, what am I missing here? Uh, Thirty minutes from him. Take out a car. Uh huh. Thank you. Did you see Dana? Yes, poor Dana. Dana's had a day. Yesterday, poor Dana. Okay. Um, do, do, do. What else? Anything else I'm missing? Okay, I think we're up to date here. Go, you go at 10.30 tonight for an MRI? That seems odd, but okay. The animal cops, but had to stop. It was too hard on my heart. Oh, watch animal cops. Oh, I don't think I want to know about that, Jennifer V. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, so uh, what else? We got Gerald. Got the ring. Uh, did my nails. Hot lips is the color of that. Um, what else? I feel like I'm. So oh, okay, so okay. Let's have a little, little, a little, uh, little chit chat here about what's going on during celebrations because there's been a lot of stuff going on today. Some confusion for anybody who are. Uh, anybody notice anything different today? How creepy is that? That's pretty creepy. Check out the eyelashes. I might have bought myself some eyelashes at Klondike Days. There you go. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go like this now. Uh, okay, no, that hurts. <laughs> um, okay, so stamping up celebrations. Things are flying off the shelves. Like we're going, we're going, we're going hard on the celebration stuff. Let me just do a little quick little flip to do here. Let you know what's going on. Okay. Uh, over the weekend, things said they were sold out. They're not really sold out, which at, uh, which made all kinds of confusion because we were told that things were celebrations products are while supplies last. But it was a little bit not a lie, but it was a little bit of a fib <laughs> for some of them. So, um, the, do, 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 these are gone forever in North America. All right. The pool party and soft sea foam cards, they're done. Where's my marker? Where's my Sharpie? Where are you? Here you are. Okay. Oh, now you're not. Oh no, that's not okay. Focus. 
Focus. Shh, focus. Come on. Don't want to focus? What the heck? You focused? Okay. Go slowly. Doesn't want to focus on me. All right. Well, anyway, these sold out. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Can you focus on this? What's going on here? Focus. There we go. It just needs to catch up. It's a Monday. Okay, so these aren't available anymore. Then we were told, well, we weren't told, but um, this paper wasn't available. The stamp set was, but we couldn't buy any of it because it's a bundle. So this wasn't available. It's back now. I just checked. It is back in stock. They got a small shipment back of this, so this bundle is available again. Likewise, there was another paper, the... Am I missing? Oh, this the Rings of Love paper that was unavailable this weekend. It is now back. You can order this again, free with a sixty dollar order. Um, oh, that's not okay, Jennifer. Ooh, all right. But what is gone? The uh, tree lot dies. I called it. I called it, you guys. It is gone forever. Not returning now. Uh, they do seem to think that they're going to have enough stock. Now, of course, everything changes. Now that those things are sold out, who knows what's going to fly. But they believe they'll have enough of the hippo dyes to last until about the third week of August. Okay, so three more weeks. But there might be a run on these items now that the paper is gone. Uh, or that the, um, the uh, tree lot dyes are gone. Anyway, so that's what's going on in the world of Stampin' Up! right now. Things are coming and going and it's chaos. It's chaos all over the place. Should we make a card? You want to make a card? Five minutes ago, you ordered both of those papers. Go, Bev. Go, Bev. Okay. Um, ba -dum -bum. Let's make a card. Is that it? Anything else? Oh, I have something else to tell you about before you... <laughs> See, I've got you. You're a captive audience right now. Tried to order the Wonder One today. They said that it wasn't available. It is now, Marcella. It is now. So I hope you hadn't closed the order because it is available now. They had... um. They had a small shipment coming in. So as a demonstrator, Marcella, if you check on the inventory status report, um, it did say that the that the papers were unavailable at the moment. Or when you tried to, to order them, it said unavailable, unavailable. That's an indication that they will come back. If you can't find it, the tree lot dies. They were not anywhere on the website. They're gone, gone. So, and or if you have any questions, you just message me and say, hey, Tamara, do you know if this is still around? Anyway. Um, okay. So what was I going to say? Oh, mark your calendars. Everybody pay attention. Remember that online sale that I had a couple weeks ago, the $5 sale, five bucks, five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. Everything was $5. Very popular. Whole bunch of fun. Got rid of everything, but five items. I have literally five items left and I had like 200 and some. They're all gone. <laughs> Y'all seem to enjoy that. So guess what? We're having another one. Another one. Huh? Are you excited? Are you interested? $5 for stamp sets, embossing folders, punches, embellishments, ribbon, you name it. There's a whole swack of stuff that's going to be up for grabs right here on Tamara's Paper Trail on, do you have your pencil and paper ready? On Wednesday, August the 10th, right here, Tamara's Paper Trail. Same style as before, you're going to comment and whatever items um, is going to go by the date or the, the, the time stamp um, because when, when my sale was going on last time, some comments would come through before other people's, but when I went back uh, and checked the times, the, uh, the times were different and people who actually, their comments showed up second or third, the time actually logged sooner. So it was just the way the systems show up. Um, all right, Heather. That's it. Yes. Five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. Deals like we're talking some crazy discounted prices, you guys. So that's going to be right here on the 10th at 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time. So that's like uh, half an hour, 45 minutes ago. Should go for about two hours like the last one did. Um, and I'll give you more information on that. But that is in a week and two days. You don't want to miss it. You don't. You don't want to miss it. Don't miss it. All right. So now let's make a card because it's 7.15. Why not? All right. So... This is a fun little layout. Uh, I stumbled across a card sketch of all things. I don't usually do card sketches, but there was a card sketch from, mm, 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 mm. I wonder if I know who did it. Um, 
I don't know. It was, I don't know what, who did the card sketch. Like, I don't know. There's a lot out there. Uh, okay. Hang on. I'm trying to figure out where it doesn't matter where I got it from per se, but I got inspiration from, uh, one of my favorite, um, Stampin' Up. She, uh, she was an artisan. She's not anymore, but, uh, Norella Ferugia is her name. And she was an artisan and I follow her and I love her work. So she had used this card sketch and I went, I really like that card. I'm going to use that card sketch. And so that's how we've come up with tonight's. So, um, marble so small, which is good. Oh, it hail. Okay. All right. Look to the show. That's okay. We haven't done anything yet, Jen. And Jen, I hope you're wearing gloves so that your nail polish doesn't wreck. Not playing along. Jen, Christmas cards. What the heck? Jen, I was telling the ladies there's another $5 sale next Wednesday, a week from Wednesday. Be here. All right, let's start with a card, you guys. Oh, oh that's not on the right. Okay, we're going to start with a card base. Eight and a half by five and a half, which is our standard. I'm going to fold it in half. I had fun with this layout. I've made four cards in, like, no time. In no time, I made four cards. Now, there we go. Fold it in half. Then we have a colored uh, piece of cardstock layer, which is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. Now in Tamara language, that is four and three quarters and two ticks by three and a half and two ticks. If you have the Donna ruler, Donna ruler, this is the Donna ruler. If you want to head over to uh, Amazon. Oh, did I do some damage on Amazon today? Sure did. Okay. Why aren't you focusing? I'm too fast for the eyeballs in the camera. Anyway. Victor, e, I don't know. Anyway, so if you wanted to do it four and seven eighths, four, you're going to focus for me, four. It's not, I don't understand. I got my lights figured out though. They're not yellow anyway. Okay, so four, come on, and seven eighths. So it's four and three quarters and two ticks. It means four and seven eighths uh, by three and five eighths. So three and a half. Oh, for heaven's sakes. It wants to, I think it wants my fingernail. Three. Come on, too close, back up, three and a half and two ticks. I don't know. Oh, I know, it's trying to focus on that. All right, anyway. Oh, congratulations, Nikki, Ava, Margaret, Rose. Oh, how exciting. No black cardstock. Oh, that works too, Teresa, absolutely. Cool, all right, congratulations, Nikki. All right, so this is going to be, it's just two ticks larger than this layer, which is four and three quarters by three and a half. So four and three quarters and two ticks by three and a half and two ticks. And so it just gives a little hint of a border. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. All right. Now I need my card. Where is my card? I lost my card. Here's my card. All right. Okay. So then do, do, do. We got that, that, that. We got our tools and embellishments. Now we needed three shapes that they're about one and a half to two inches in size. Two of them are in DSP and one of them is a blank. So by that, this is what I meant. I grabbed my geometric shapes. In this case, I used the hexagon from my beautiful shapes. This is this is one of those sleeper dies that you don't really notice because they don't coordinate with anything, but it, they've got circles and they have the hexagons. So I used the hexagons. Yeah, six hex, six hexagons. I've also done some cards using this, um, the circle, which was from the style of shapes. This is another must have because it's got all the different things going on here. Uh, but for the, tonight's, for this card, I'm going to use these ones. So I'm going to start by taping my layer uh, to my base. Oh, you broke your pinky. For Lord's sake, Shayla. You're a hot mess. Okay, Shayla, you and Mary need to get together. Mary fell down the stairs, remember? A couple weeks ago, Mary was hit by a car. And then she fell down the stairs. Now, Shayla, you've got a torn a torn something in your knee. Uh, I forget what you called it. And now you're breaking toes? For goodness sake, ladies. Ugh. Or you need wine. I'm not sure which, Shayla. I don't know. We have to get Dan in on that group too. Dan is having a rough week. 
and Nancy. I don't know. You guys are just holy cow. Something's going on in the universe with my ladies. All right. Now I'm going to end up putting this ultimately on an angle. You don't have to, but let's see what we're going to do. So you've got these shapes. Now this is where you just kind of get to play. Um, you can put them in any orientation and then you can embellish. Thought I might ask the MRA people to take a look. Oh, no doubt. Why not? You're there already. Honestly. So when it comes to this, you can stamp on the sentiment and uh, you can just embellish. Actually, this would be cute just, just to have a sentiment here and then I could just put some rhinestones. I'm going to jazz mine up just a little bit because I want to. Um, I'm going to do it a little different. Okay, so I think I'm going to tape these down and you can pop things up accordingly. So I'm going to tape this down. What the heck? I'll go a little bit different than my original. So this paper that I used, I forget which one it is. I think it's the something about hand penned or penciled or I don't know what it's called. Uh, 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 let's go here. Uh, perfectly penciled? Yes, perfectly penciled. Black and white. But let's do something a little different tonight. And then this one I'm going to tape that one down too. Now this one I'm going to pop up, but first I'm going to stamp sentiment on it. If I could find one, I'm not sure if the sentiment fits. Uh, not idea nine. So I, I'm loving this sentiment. Heartfelt thank you from Nature's Prince. I don't know. I grabbed this for another reason. I went, oh, I really quite like that. Best wishes and happy thoughts. Let's see if this even fits on my... It does if it's at an angle. I do need hmm, best wishes. I, there's a hello there. So you've got your, you're on my mind. Hello there. Let's see what else is sitting on my desk. I've got a lunch of a lunch of. I have a yes. I know Dana. Honestly. Oh oh Sheila, stop it. Oh my God, you're killing me, girl. Killing me. Um, I need some more congratulations cards. Uh, but congratulations is such a long word and I don't like congrats. So, mm -hmm. let me see what else I can find. Hang on. I'm celebrating you. Happy Easter. The best day to come just for you. Grateful to celebrate you every day. Wishing you happily ever after. Mm, no. Looking at all my sentiments. Unhappy family. Nope. Very best occasions. Happy birthday. You make my life easier. I love you uh, with comfort and love. Oh, no. Christmas. Too big. Charming sentiments. What's in here? What have we got in here? Beyond grateful. Thank you. Everything will be okay. Huh. Good luck. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Welcome, Heather. <laughs> oh, oh, look at all the dyes in here. Oh, oh my. Okay, I obviously haven't. Wow. All right. What, what do we do? I'm just trying to see. Okay, so thank you. Okay, let's just do a thank you in here. Move on. I haven't used this yet. Oh, but these dyes, these cut. Oh, wow. Okay. I need to look at what I've got. Okay, good luck. Good luck is a good one. What do I need? Okay, hang on. I'm going to check my list of cards. What do I need to do? Good luck. Woohoo. Eh. Oh, I'm going to do a good luck. I've got a friend starting a new job soon. Just, is, that, is that right? Good luck. Is luck? I don't know if that's appropriate for a new job. Like good luck. There's no luck involved. No. Okay. I think I'm going to go with a uh, good luck, not that you need it. How about, I'm just going to go with the thank you. Good luck. I don't know. That, that kind of rings to me like something bad might happen. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to stamp it in black. Okay. A corner couch person now with both legs hurting. Oh, God. Yeah. No. Thank you. I don't know. You guys. I'm just looking for my foam mat, my paper piercing tool, or uh, paper piercing mat, because when you use photopolymer, you're going to need that. Now I really, oh, 
Okay, Heather, Heather, here's what I'm going to do for Heather. Okay, I promised Heather that I was going to use the Stamparatus more to show her how. Now, okay, here's what's going to, okay. Honestly, this card takes minutes, you guys, so, you know, you expect nothing less than a whole lot of rambling. So I'm going to wipe this. See, Heather, you gotta, you got to keep me in line here. Now, here's my Stamparatus. When you have a Stamparatus, you also need to have the Stamparatus foam mat. This is the Stamparatus grid, something or other, um, that you're going to need. Otherwise, it, you're not going to be able to stamp because the, the photopolymer stamps are too thin. So uh, you need your foamy something or other. Now, I need a piece of paper. We also sell grid paper that fits the Stamparatus side. I've got one here, but it's laminated, so I'm sure I have one that's not laminated. Let's have to find it. Here we go. I think. That one's laminated, too. One day I'll be organized for my shows, you guys. And then you'll think you're on the wrong page, because what the heck. All right, well, anyway, we do have grid paper. You need a piece of scrap paper. I know where it is. It's in my Stamparatus uh, case for when I do my volunteer work. That's where all my grid paper is. That actually is eight by eight. It's over there. That's too far away from me. All right, so you do need a piece of grid paper. Now, I need that hexagon back. I need to cut out my hexagon shape. So when you cut out your hexagon shape, is it this one? Nope, it's this one. All right, so follow along here. Okay, it's hard being me apparently right now. Get in there. Oh, I know what. <laughs> okay, see what's happened? This is I'm like, why won't it close? Because it picked up my magnet. Oh Lord. Alright, let's get going here. Uh, I'm gonna cut this out of a piece of scrap so that I have like a template. Or I'm gonna rummage through my trash and see if, see if I have one in there. To save me the time. That's just weird. Where did all my garbage go? All right, we're going to make a new one. Gosh, I'm a hot mess. All right, so I'm just going to take a piece of scrap and I'm going to cut out, pretending that I didn't have this piece yet. So I'm going to cut this out. Stamparatus is an amazing tool. Uh, it's great if you have trouble with dexterity, with holding the stamps, with shaky hands, or if you're just a perfectionist and you want to know exactly where things are going. So this is an amazing tool. So I'm just going to put my scrap paper here. I am going to have my stamp. All right. Now, you always want to put... Um, a stamp set under this plate. Ah, look at that. My shirt does match my card. <laughs> I planned it that way, right? <laughs> um, you always want to have a stamp set under this plate so it doesn't put as much pressure on the uh, hinge. That's the word I'm looking for, hinge. Okay, so I'm going to pop my stamp anywhere down on my grid paper. Okay, I'm going to close the door and pick it up so you just push it so it's um, stuck to the plate and I'm gonna ink it up I'm using black tonight now I like to use the Stamparatus when I'm using black because I like a crisp black I don't like any of this faded nonsense if it's not crisp I get cranky and um, chances of it being crisp in one shot are pretty slim especially if you're using a fat a stamp like this, you know, a, a thick image um, or a solid image, chances of it being really intense or slim. So we've got the thank you. So what we've what we've just done, where the heck did it, here we go. What we've just done is um, we figured out where this is going to stamp. 
okay? So now you take this mask that we just made and we're going to be able to position this so that it's centered perfectly. So say you wanted it on an angle. Maybe you want it like this. Maybe I do. Maybe I want it straight up and down. Maybe I want it exactly flush. Now how do I want it? So here's my card and I think I want it like this. So I'm thinking I want it kind of like that. So if I go like this, now I can tell exactly where to stamp on my um, punched out piece. So you take the piece that you punched out, pop it in the hole, ink this bad boy up again, and you know exactly where this is going to stamp because you, because you do. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Because you just watched me do it. Now I'm just, I'm trying to get another magnet here that's stuck. I want to make sure that this, ugh, this isn't going to move. So I'm going to put that right there. Okay. So I'm making this, and I can tell it's not inked up perfectly, but that's okay because now that I'm using the Stamparatus, I'll be able to close the door and open it again and stamp it again and again, and it'll be in the same spot. So now I can close. You know what? Hang on. Actually, it's not really exactly where I want it. It's messing with my head a little bit. So I can move this. Do you understand what I mean? Like if I wanted it up here, I would put the, the mask there. I want the mask. So it's centered like left to right here. Let's go with that. So you pop that back in the hole. Now we're going to close the door and it's going to be exactly where I want it to be. No guesswork. My pleasure, Heather. New celebrations coming out tomorrow. Yes, Mary. Check the updates. I'll do a link as early in the morning as I can. Look at that. Okay, so that's exactly where I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. Hi, Leslie. How are you? More hail. Oh, my. Don't like hail. It damages vehicles. I used to be in insurance and uh, as an, adjust, an adjuster. Well, I did it all. I used to be... Um, I was a broker, I was an adjuster, I did all kinds of things. Claims clerk. All right, so now that, that's how you go about doing that. Okay, and so this one I can pop up on dimensionals. I Remind me, Heather, I'm going to try to do more stamparatusing for you and for others. Uh, I just, it's not my go-to, right? So I forget. So you just remember to remind me. Okay, so there we go. I can put the thank you here. It's crooked. I'm trying to line up the U so that it's flat like that. And then I'm going to pop it on here with dimensionals. Like this is the quick, easy layout, you guys. And it's 733, but I have another one that I can do that's a little bit more complicated. So hi, Cheryl. How are you? Cheryl, where are you from? I don't recognize the last name. You live by a deal. Oh, Shayla. Ugh. Yeah, they don't like hail. Yes. Thank you, Heather. Someone's got to keep me in line. I know I've got Jennifer and Donna, but more eyes is better. Okay. So, of course, you can jazz this up with some ribbon, with some uh, embellishments. Okay. So here we could just do, they're all the same size, these ones, which drive me a little bit crazy. It's okay. I need to get outside my comfort zone a little bit. I could do that. I could also add in some uh, twine. I've got various, uh, the white and the black twine. I could do both. Wrap up the two of them together. Let's see what we got here. You have! I know, Donna. I thought maybe you'd nod it off. <laughs> eh. I love my girl gang. <laughs> all right. It's all fun and games, right, girls? Okay, so I'm just uh, tying the black and white together. Nancy, how much do you like my black and white card? Nancy's black and white. Black and white everything. Glue dot. Uh oh, Donna, very good, but you're not feeling good. Jennifer, what's wrong? What's 
What's wrong? Craig wasn't feeling good this weekend. I don't know. You know what that's like when the boys aren't feeling good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's put that there. And then look, how easy was that card? Just shapes. So, and that tail's a little long for my liking. Let's trim that down a bit. So this is the simple. You can make it more comp, more fancy, but just a quick and easy thank you. This is a great one. Oh, stunning. Thank you, Heather. You're so good for my self-esteem. <laughs> um, this is a great one for a beginner card class. Just shapes. And you can use any shape. So let me show you another one that I did very quickly. Another simple one. Simple, simple, simple. Check it out. So this is a new paper that I, I don't care for. However, once you start using it, you're like, oh, okay. Well, that's not so bad. So this paper is our metallic and shimmer six by six specialty paper. And I went, well, yeah, this doesn't blow my hair back. It is simple, isn't it? Thanks, Cheryl. So there are these, I don't know what I was expecting, but anyway, they show it in the catalog, but I was like, eh, okay. So this one I don't care for. I don't, I just don't like, it's green and gold. Okay, we could use that for our Elks, which used to be our Edmonton Eskimos. Now they're Edmonton Elks, but anyway. And then this one is fall. So yeah, maybe I could get into that somehow, but I like the black one. Anyway, I just cut it out. This uh, heart shape, I love these, but I haven't used them yet. The brushed shapes. So I used the heart, uh, and that's really why I got it. That and this squiggle, I thought would look really nice behind a small circle. It would look kind of like ribbon, but I haven't managed to succeed in having it look like anything that I like. <laughs> so I don't know. It's, I, I don't know what to do with that. I, I love the shape. I just haven't been able to use it su successfully. Now I think these are hearts as well. Are these hearts? I don't know what these are. Sure. Let's go with hearts. But when you have three, they look nice. So that's what this paper is. And I'm going to show you, let's make another one because it is 737 and I have more time. So that was my sneak peek at this one because I didn't. Oh, okay. So the one that I made first today, the one that almost started it all off, was this one. So this is the card that I just made. But then look what I did here. I didn't stamp on the white piece. I might have dropped my stamp. <laughs> um, it does look a bit like my logo, doesn't it? Yeah. This is from uh, Nature's Harvest. And I love this piece. Um, and I just, it's not quite straight and flush, but anyway, a heartfelt thank you from whatever set I said that was from <laughs> this one, Nature's Prince. And I stamped right on the card on that one, as I did on this one. And then again, I did the double um, black and white twine and some black dots. So simple, a little bit more complicated. Very simple. Ridiculously simple. Okay, great. Um, this could be a, a quick and easy anniversary card. Thank you. Um, thinking of you. Yeah. I uh, guess it could be an anniversary or wedding. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent, Shayla. Well, I'm glad. Okay, so that's that card. Now, let's make another one. Um, this one's going to be fall. So... I'm going to start with my card base. And I actually, I had embossed the layer, but then I went and used the layer for something else. So, for a different card. I'll show you that card in a minute. Now, this one's too big. Where's my other layer? I have a smaller layer here somewhere. There it is. This one. So, I'm going to emboss this with the leaf embossing folder whatever this one is the 3d fallen leaf i don't know what it's called let's call it falling leaves 3d embossing folder although i don't know if that's even what it's called but that's what i'm calling it tonight i'm gonna run that through the uh, machine so yes tomorrow check out the stampin up website because they are releasing new celebrations items that aren't actually new celebrations items. They are from the main catalog. So there are a bunch of embossing folders. There are some dies. Uh, okay, there we go. There are some dies. Uh, so you can get those 
most of us demonstrators have all of the um, celebrations items already in like at least triplicate. Uh, so this is nice if you're a demonstrator um, and you want and you're placing more orders that you don't have to get multiples of a set. Uh, now that the papers are are back, that's nice. But uh, you can get some of the embossing folders and some dies uh, with your free spending. Um, hi, Gail. Hello. Thanks for popping in. Thanks, Valerie. Uh, no, Donna, I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I haven't done envelopes in forever. And uh, truth be told, this is what I was supposed to be working on this weekend, was finishing these off and doing envelopes, okay? I know I don't do well. I know it's envelopes are boring. I don't know. But no, I haven't. I've been busted. All right. So here we're going with this card. Let's get going on this one. And maybe I'll do the envelopes because Alicia's at work and um, she's not off till 10. So I can't go to bed and there's no one to play with, right? Well, I mean, she's my play buddy. We'll go and watch a show, but Rebecca doesn't watch shows. So I guess I have to keep working. All right. Now I picked out some paper from the pumpkin paper that last week you guys were harassing me to use. So I used it this week. So this is this pumpkin paper, whatever it is, uh, Rustic Harvest. And so I use these two patterns. It's black and white on the back. I love when they have black and white on the backs. Just for Nancy and I, I think they do that. Yeah. So I like that. So I grabbed that paper and I cut out some circles. Now I'm mangling these, trying to get them back in a little. There we go. Okay. So for these, I did it. Oh, it's dirty. Okay, all right. So I'm just going to do... We well, can do whatever you want, obviously. Find a, a, a orientation that you like. I think it may be this and this and this. I don't know. Let's see, I've got one from earlier. Now, I'm going to stamp a sentiment on this one. That is the... Simply thankful for all you do. From this one, the gathered wheat. I kind of love this bundle. Simply thankful for all you do. Oh, I'm hungry all of a sudden. Oh, that is the dog. I'm like, oh, hi. Hello. Hi, bud. You have to finish your dinner. Finish your dinner, okay? He wasn't eating, so I bring it down here and he eats. He likes to eat with me. I don't know. Get your dinner. Get your dinner, bud. No? Okay, take a nap. All right, so for this one, uh, no, actually, I'm going to stamp this in a soft suede. I put all my stuff away. Like, I did, I cleaned this card up, so I don't know. All right, so I'm going to stamp first in crushed curry. Is the info on the demonstrator site for the new additions to celebration? Uh, yes, I think so. Maybe. Um, if not, Liz, message me and I can send you the graphic, but it was U.S. prices. I think it is. Somebody told me, I think, I don't know, today's been a weird day. Um, I'm going to go with yes. Check it out under the, yes, it is. Check out under the celebration, um, the celebrations tab. So, uh, log in, Liz, happening now, or current promotion, happening now, current promotions, and under the celebrations, um, thingy, uh, you should be able to find that. She said confidently. All right. So this stamp is another one in this set, the Gathered Wheat, which I love. I'm doing a class using this set, by the by. Don't know when, but sometime soon. So I'm stamping that, and then I'm going to stamp the sentiment in soft suede. Do I mailed your stuff today, Liz? Okay. And then this is going to go... Here, simply thankful for all you do. I love fall cards. They are my favorite to make. I find them so easy. Throw on some wheat. I love the colors. Like this. I think. Yeah, I'm hungry. I kind of I haven't eaten very much today. I know that I'm not supposed to weigh myself because every time I go to my parents' house, they have a scale. So I jump on that 
And literally, I get on and off it like 14 times. I get 14 different weights. I'm like, it's just, it's telling me. You're not supposed to weigh yourself. Just go with you. Feel good and leave it alone. So that's what happened yesterday. I'm like, really? I could be anywhere from 184 to 192. I'm like, okay, nice eight pound difference. Thank you, scale. But anyway, I am doing very well on the eating. I've been eating my GAC soup, as I'm calling it. It's actually not that bad. I, uh, the soup that I made on Saturday, it's not really a very offensive. So, oh, I guess I should put, I'm going to pop this up on the initials too. So I've been eating that and not much else, really. Get my protein in, don't worry. Get my vegetables in. I don't have enough fat, generally speaking, but I'm not drinking enough water. That's okay. All right, so I'm going to put this at an angle as well, just because it's fun. This one I'm going to pop in over here. And then I have some the fun embellishment from the gathered wheat, um, the dies. There are three of these wheat dies, so you can cut them out, all three of them at once. So I've got three, let's get the right color combination going on here. So I've got the soft suede, the crushed curry. Oh, uh, Bev, well, I lie a lot. It'll be in tomorrow's updates. But I do know that, well, Oh, I've not heard of that kind, Heather. Aviv. Okay. I haven't heard of those. So this I want to go down here. Um, so then you're just going to place your embellishments wherever you think they should go. This is where it takes me, you know, most time. Just trying to figure out. should go this way too. About like that. I think that looks cute. So I'm going to bring in my liquid glue. I'm not sure then, uh, to be honest with you, um, Bev, if they were releasing them before tomorrow, like on the demonstrator site or not. Which I don't really understand why they wouldn't, because it's nice to have a little bit of time to do up a poster. Well, um, oh, I love, hi, Shonda. Um, yeah, I love wheat stuff. It makes it so simple and easy. Like where, here, here, here's the piece of wheat. Oh, here's another one I could do instead, or as well as. But no, I don't think it really goes with what I just did, but. Oh, well, that could still come off, I guess. Sure, you know what? I'm going to take that off. You're right. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to use... Oh, going all kinds of rogue tonight here. This isn't how I was going to go. It always happens right after I place an order. I literally hit submit right before you started tonight. Oh. Uh, yeah, but you know what, Bev? Sure as heck, if you hadn't done that, whatever you were hoping to get would have been sold out. Like... You're kind of darned if you do and darned if you don't, right? I know. I got into the habit when I used to go to my uplines um, meetings. I, I learned after about five or six meetings not to place my order until after I'd been to her house <laughs> for the make and takes and that. Because sure as heck, every time I'd place an order on the Friday night, I'd go to her place Saturday morning and uh, I'd be placing another order right away. Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of nice. Now... Because I used glue, now this is all kind of gungy. So I'm just going to grab my eraser, these gummy eraser things. And try to get off some of that glue. That's cute. And then, I mean, you could... I think there are acorns in this one, too. Are there acorns in this one? Is that overkill? Do I care? <laughs> See, that's three items. So that counts. I think that'll appease Donna. I think that still counts as three. I'm going to do that. Yeah. And then I might do, still do some little gems. I know the three, the three rule, the rule of threes. And I think this counts as three because I've tried this earlier. I was trying to uh, come up with something using this wheat 
image and it just wasn't working out for me. And I think it's because I had this and three of these and that really meant four to my eyeball. What embossing folder, Shonda? This is the, I don't know what it's called, something about leaves. I want to say falling leaves. I don't know. It's in the mini and it's freaking gorgeous. Everybody should order it. I'm just holding this while it glues anyway. It is called the uh, Leaf Fall 3D. 1375. It's amazing. Okay, one more here. Oh, it's 750. I'm doing good, you guys, for me, considering. Really, I haven't crafted that much. I've been doing a lot of talking. I just do a lot of talking. I like talking. I'm good at it. I think. All right, so we're going to go like that. Then, kind of fancy. Let's try these brushed metallic thingies. I've got chunks all over the place, so let's try to use these. Grab my little putty. Thing. And if I do like one here, one there. That one's stuck to something that's not supposed to be stuck to. And maybe one up here. I still kind of want to do a twine bow, but that really could be overkill. What the heck? Do it anyway. Thanks, Liz. I don't know. Fall cards are just easy to me. I mean, we've got all of our... We've got our linen threads that go nice. We've got a lot of nice, actually, I'll show you a nice, look at this embellishment that I made. That was fun. It's very therapeutic. This is a little long now, but it kind of looks to me like a sack. And then I just frayed at the end. And tied it in the middle. Isn't that fun? Maybe I could use that. And that's definitely overkill. Anyway, there's my other little guy. Let's put him maybe here. Why not? Where is my thing? My glue dots? Where are you? There they are. And then 752. And then I can show you something else I made. And then it's time to say goodbye. Oh, and I'm sad. I had an idea for tomorrow night. I can't remember what it was though. Huh. Okay, so just a little, I mean, that's not in your face, that ribbon or that um, linen twine. It's there, so it makes me happy, but it's not overpowering the card. So that's kind of fun. It does go fast, I know. It can, I know. I like this one. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the one I made this afternoon. This was the one that started it all off. So it was quite simple. This one's a little bit more stepped up, um, just because there's one more element and yeah, I guess one more. So this one I had used a different embossing folder, which I forget. I used the three wheat thingies, and I used these from this pack, the Leaf Label and Amber Gem Combo Pack. So these, are they the same size? They are. So they're all, they're little tags. Who knew? I kind of knew. Well, I didn't really know because I didn't really read the instructions. But then we've got all these gems on the back. So they were really pretty. So I added those and then I did a double, triple. I did a triple bow. If two is good, three is better. Painted texture. No, that's not that one, Heather. It's um, it's something about like a brick wall or a, it's not painted texture. Let me see which one it is. I'm sure it's still current. No, it's not. It is not still current. Okay, it was the one that, huh, what's it doing in my, well, I missed that one. 
Oh, it was in my stash. That's why. It was like, it was a celebration free one. And okay, that's why. It, I got it out of my stash of um, layers. It was a rock something. It came with a Japanese, it was a celebrations 120 level. And there's a Japanese lady in a pagoda, 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 pagora, pagoda. <laughs> anyway, there's a Japanese thing. And this this was the rock embossing folder that went with that. Um, but the rest are fairly similar. So that's retired. I'm sorry for that. But the leaf one looks really nice, I think. It would be nice to have tiny gold leaves. Yeah, tiny ones, yeah. Stone. Okay, thanks, Myrna. Of course, it, it would be that simple, wouldn't it? So they're similar but different. And then, so these are the ones that I had done. Again, very, you know, they're similar but different. And then this, so I had a little play just before I went live. This one. So I grabbed it. I stamped on it. Attached it to some twine. And then this was from that uh, uh, the Forest Friends designer paper. And so I deviated. I didn't use three. I had cut out three. I would cut out this one from the paper and this one. And then I went, you know what? I just, I'm feeling leaves. So I embossed this layer with the leaves. And then I thought, okay, let's add some more leaves. And I just stamped on it. And then I took, I stuck that down with a glue dot just so it's not floating around freely. I'm not sure how I feel about this one, but, um, it's okay. It's all right. Uh, you know, the, this was the jumping off point, right? Where it's three shapes. So you go very, very simple, step it up just a little bit by having a, an extra die cut. Uh, actually these two are, this one's probably the most simple because they're just gems and the shape. Then that one's a little bit more stepped up. That one's a little bit more stepped up. This one's just weird. Uh, more stepped up again, and then most stepped up. So you can, you can, yeah, make it, make it simple or make it fancier. Same journal pieces. Love it. I love it. I hope somebody played along tonight. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Melanie. Yeah, it would be nice to have gold leaves. Easy enough to make, though. We've got all the toys that'll make make some leaves. Um, thanks, Teresa. I think that's all I've got. If there's something in particular you want to see tomorrow night, um, I might be taking my child to the corn maze. But other than that, I, I mean, the plan is always to come down and work. Um. In here but if there's a technique you're looking for thanks Sandra uh, if there's a particular product I might just grab some of the product that I bought that I haven't had a play with yet push myself out of that comfort zone a little bit um, don't know guess I'll figure it out tomorrow right right here at seven o'clock again mark your calendars a week from Wednesday which is the 10th of August a five dollar sale everything is five dollars right here on tomorrow's paper trail that's gonna be Wednesday the 10th at 6 30 um you're very welcome Heather thanks for popping in you guys oh Mary watercolor I mean that does push me outside of my zone but I'm not I don't like it because I'm not very good at it We'll see. I should push myself, right? I should. We'll see. Maybe. Tune in tomorrow. Find out what goes on. All right. Have a great night. See you tomorrow, 7 o'clock. Oh, Gerald. <coughs> see you guys.